everybody it's project time so it's a nice day outside and i've been in the ham radio mood lately so i'm going to set up my nfed half wave uh 20 and 40. so uh let's get building as you can see my backyard has no trees so how am i going to get my antenna up in the air let's go take a look this is a telescopic painter's pole uh, that I got from Amazon. I should have gotten it from Home Depot. It would have been cheaper and easier to deal with. And it opens up to about 34 feet, if I remember correctly, which is just enough for an NFED. Well, my center insulator has disappeared, but basically I'm gonna loop my wire this little ring at the top and make a pulley and when I raise it up and I'll pull my wire up and I can take it up and down to adjust tension. I'm gonna try to make a 20 and a 40. A 20 is about 29 feet and a 40 is about 63. So I have marked along my fence line in 10 foot increments so I can measure it out by myself. I'm gonna be using this uh, QRP guys, uh, no tune and fed half wave uh, converter. There we go. They got the markings already on it for lengths. Got this 250 foot roll of 20 gauge. I got off Amazon, which I'll link. So uh, let's roll it out. Just gonna tie it here in the corner. And... 10, 20, 30. Better too long than too short. So I've got my 25 foot piece. I'm gonna put a little overhand loop in the top, the very end. And I'm gonna take my favorite pink mason line from Home Depot and I'm gonna go up through the loop on the top of the pole and open it up Here's my other end. Let's take it over to my patio. I've got this great pillar right here that I'm gonna tie off the uh, QRP guys adapter to. I just need to strip this back and uh, connect it to the QRP guys. And there it is. There's some great little holes to put your wire through for a strain relief. And there's my BNC output. That's how I tie it off. And now all I gotta do is get my Nano VNA and uh, cut and tune it and see where we're at. As I knew I would, it's way too long. We're down at like 12 megahertz. So let's start trimming, but it's easier to trim than to add back. I usually pull off six inches at a time, but the SWR is so far off, I'm gonna go for about a foot. By using that little ring, I can keep tension Just pull up the slack, put another little knot in it. <clears throat> Take me off another foot. I 
As a side note, today was a uh, ham fest at Belton. Maybe I ran into some of you there. All right, let's see what that does. Barely moved, so let's pull off three feet. 13 megahertz making moves, but now I need to uh, I need to ease up the tension on the string so that way I can pull another couple of feet off. And this is really simple. I just have the string wrapped around one of these little clips. So I just un open this up and unwrap this. Let out a little slack. And wrap it back. And now I can go pull the wire slack on the other side. Let's get another two feet or so. That's a foot, but let's see where it took us. 1.8. I'd like to get better than that. And I know I can. Here's my QRP SDR. But now it's time to crack a beer and play radio. I love this wire. It's got a really nice like silicon jacket on it. It's super flexible, strips real well, feels nice and solid. That's a 250 feet of 20 gauge. Um, I'll link it here uh, on Amazon, but uh, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm very pleased. Well, it's time to take it down. It's just as easy. And there it is. There's the inf bed. There's my string. There's my BNC coax. And there's my rope to go to my pillar. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed.